House committee passes a controversial bill that was designed to protect animals and property owners. News 18's Holly Campbell was at the State House today and reports why some lawmakers say the Senate bill violates First Amendment rights. We want to warn you some of this video may be disturbing to some viewers. Representatives heard testimonies last week both for and against Senate Bill 373. The bill requires written consent from property owners to take pictures or videos of agricultural or industrial operations on private property. That includes livestock. In its original version, the bill made it illegal to distribute any video or photos that were taken without consent. So video like this wouldn't be made public in its original form. But Republican State Representative Don Lay, he says new amendments have changed that. I think the elimination of the, the language about dissemination of, of the material will satisfy that uh, issue. The requirement that they have to report it first to uh, authorities. Lay, he says the bill was designed to protect animals, property owners' rights, and whistleblowers. He says the bill no longer restricts the sharing of pictures or videos as long as they are first turned over to authorities. If it's animal abuse, if it's a violation, we all want that improved and, and reported and that the bad actors get, uh, you know, either correct their actions or uh, dealt with illegally. If undercover videos or photos aren't given to authorities, violators could face a misdemeanor. Democratic State Representative Sheila Klinker says she voted against the so-called ag-gag bill because it targets the media and violates a key ingredient of investigative reporting. Freedom of speech and uh, freedom to check on situations that maybe are negative uh, for other folks, particularly dealing with food products. Klinker says taking away First Amendment rights could be detrimental. I think we have uh, found some situations uh, in Indiana that are questionable and that our ability to be able to photograph these situations um, has certainly helped. Both Leahy and Klinker say they're expecting more changes to come to Senate Bill 373 as it moves through the House. Reporting at the State House, Holly Campbell, News 18.